Ever heard of a real-life zombie? Not the kind you see in movies, but something far stranger happening right now in rainforests around the world. Meet the carpenter ant. It spends its days foraging, building its colony. That is, until it meets a microscopic sinister puppet master, the Ophiocordyceps unilateralis fungus. This isn't just any fungus. When one of its tiny spores lands on an unsuspecting ant, it's game over. The spore germinates, burrowing through the ant's tough exoskeleton. Once inside, it's a silent takeover. The fungus begins to spread its network of microscopic filaments, known as hyphae, throughout the ant's body. It's not a quick kill, it's a slow, methodical possession. These hyphae multiply, replacing the ant's muscle tissue and wrapping around its brain. The fungus doesn't destroy the brain, though. Oh no, that would be too simple. Instead, it seizes control, turning the ant into a vehicle for its own survival. The once diligent worker abandons its colony and begins to wander erratically, a puppet on invisible strings. This is what scientists call the zombie ant phase. The fungus compels the ant to do something completely against its nature, climb. It forces the ant up a plant stem to a very specific height, usually about 25 centimeters off the ground. Here, the temperature and humidity are perfect for the fungus to complete its life cycle. In a final desperate act controlled by its parasitic overlord, the ant is forced to bite down hard onto the underside of a leaf, locking its jaws in a death grip so powerful it remains even after the ant dies. Once the ant is secured, the fungus delivers the final blow, consuming the rest of its host's insides. Then the grand finale. A single thin stalk begins to grow, pushing its way out from the back of the dead ant's head. At the tip of this stalk, a fruiting body develops, ready to rain down a fresh shower of spores onto the forest floor below, waiting for the next unsuspecting carpenter ant to walk by. It's a chillingly brilliant strategy for survival, a real-life horror story playing out on a miniature scale. It just goes to show you how wild and wonderfully weird our planet can be. Thanks for watching. If you found this as fascinating as I did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dives into the wonders of the natural world. I am Venant. See you next time.